have a sheet, will you? EMS just dropped off. Wait. What? Do you hear that? Hear what? Dr. Bloom, she's dead. No pulse, no BP, cyanotic rigor mortis. I need a defib ventilator, ALS, and resuscitation team. Now. That's impossible. She's dead. Well, at least you didn't kill her twice. Good afternoon, Mr. Martin. I'm Dr. Vijay Kapoor, your wife's neurologist. What happened to her? Uh, let me just find my glasses so that I can read her chart properly. Okay. <laughs> Here they are. Thank you. Presented cyanotic and rigor mortis, administered diazepam and Valium. No. So, Mr. Martin, it appears Patricia's brain convinced her heart that she was dead, even though she was very much alive. We are going to perform a few tests to find out why. In the meantime, you and I are going to talk. Talk. Talk about your life together, how you met, how you live. What does that have to do with what happened to her? Everything. Your husband said you were taking haloperidol. For two years. For depression. And last year you were diagnosed with Parkinson's. Does any of it explain what is happening to me? Not yet. I'm going to run some more tests and hopefully... Oh, yes. But she's in pain and she's not getting any better. Miss Martin, I need some more information before I can make a diagnosis. How can you not do something for her? Shh. We are going to do something. We are going to keep talking. Where are my glasses? I asked you to keep me in the loop on 1208. I needed to conduct thorough patient I'm taking history. the patient out of your service. Because? Because you should have made a presumptive diagnosis. Because you should have aggressively treated the Parkinson's. Except she doesn't have Parkinson's. Pet scan. Small black flecks over her heart. Artifacts. Look closer. Two years ago, Patricia was misdiagnosed with depression. She was prescribed haloperidol, which caused stiffness. Right. As a result, she was misdiagnosed with Parkinson and prescribed levodopa, which made it impossible for her to sleep. So she was prescribed hydroxyzin. That toxic combination caused both cardiac arrest and rigidity. But this whole time, her true symptom was her immune system fighting a tumor, which nobody could see. Small black flecks. Malignant thymoma. If I continued treated her for Parkinson's, she would have another cardiac arrest and died. By taking my time, by slowing down, I bought her another year. Maybe two. How can I help? When she wakes up, you can help me tell her she's going to die.